The Blind Men and the Elephant by John Godfrey Sachs. It was six men, men of Indostan, to learning much inclined, who went to see the elephant, though all of them were blind. That each by observation might satisfy his mind. The first approached the elephant, and Good. happening to fall. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, you want to come all the way around okay. the side. There we go. Should I wait until they're yeah, right there? Yeah, you can do that. You can I wait. Okay. Say nothing, blind man, except your line. Okay. There And there you go, narrator. The first approached the elephant and happening to fall against his broad and sturdy side, at once began to bawl. God bless me, but this elephant is very like a wall. The second feeling of the tusk cried, Ho! What, what we have here? Okay, back up, back up. Uh, back up, come in and feel of the tusk. Now blind man one, blind man one, you you uh, stay a little bit longer, maybe than you should have, but that's okay. We'll fix so it. I say it then go. Yeah, you feel it. It's very like a wall, and then you move on. Oh. So you have to come up, and you have to feel it. You have to feel it before you can say anything. You can't say anything until you feel it. The only way you can see things is your can. Okay, back up a little bit, and start from. Excuse me. Uh, start from. Back up, please. There you go. Now you're. Are you the guy? No. You're the blind man. Let the guy be in front of you. Okay. Turn on your blindness. Turn on the blindness. There we go. And the narrator, start your narration. The second feeling of the tusk cried, Ho! Oh, what we have here, so very round and smooth and sharp, this wonder of an elephant is very like a spear. The Show third. us the spear. When you say spear, uh, do, do your line again. Do your line again. The second feeling of the tusk cried, Ho! Time out. Time out. Uh, I'm sorry, what's your name, please? Ethan. Ethan. When you look at the screen, you're dropping character. When you look at the screen, you're dropping your character. Okay? So listen to him. He will tell you. And you've got the line a little bit off, but not too bad. So, um, to me, it is mighty clear. This wonder of an elephant is very light. And when you say spear, throw your spear. Okay? So start from the top. Uh, uh, guide number one, guide number two, guide number two, guide number two. There you, here, there you go. Go back and bring it back in and narrator start from second. The second feeling of the tusk cried, Ho! What we have here! Tis me it is very clear. This wonder of an elephant is very like a spear. And freeze and good. And don't look at anything. You, now you dropped your blind man character. Good. All right, and keep going. The third approach the animal and happening to take this squirming trunk within his hands, thus boldly up in space. I see, quoth he, the elephant is very like a snake. Keep moving. Okay. You guys are doing good. The fourth reached out his eager hand and felt about the knee. What have we here? Life. What most this wondrous beast is like. <laughs> what most this wondrous beast is like. Life. Is mighty plain. Is mighty plain. Quoth he, this wonder of beast is very like a tree. This wonder of an elephant, you, now you dropped your character, you dropped your character. This wonder of an elephant is very like a tree. This wonder of an elephant is very like a tree. It's it's a tree. The fifth, okay. who chanced to touch the ear, said, Even the blindest man can tell what this resembles most. And I, in fact, who can. This marvel of an elephant is very like a fan. Uh, uh, blind man number five, you're looking right at me. Blind men do not look at. There you go. All right, good. Hold your character. Good. Where's your character? Your character is a uh, snake. Okay. Spear. Hold it up. Okay. As of now, you can let go of your guide and hold your character. So your wall, your wall, your spear. Hold it way up, way up. There we go. Your snake. There we go. 
your tree, your fan, and you guys are talking when there's no reason to talk. Okay? <laughs> Don't point at him. Okay. Uh, all right. And so, narrator, go ahead and finish it up. The sixth no sooner had begun about Luke's beast to grow. And seizing on the swinging tail. And seizing on the swinging tail. That fell within his scope. I see, quoth he, the elephant is very like a rope. And so, so these, these men, men of Indostan disputed loud and long. And give them a and moment to dispute. Draw! Spear! Snake! Draw! Rope! Fan! <laughs> All Do it again! Do it again! Keep going. Disputing rope. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to want them to dispute for a little bit. And go. Whoa! Spear! Snake! Tree! Fire! Rope! Exceeding stiff and strong. Though each? Though each was partly in the right, and all were in the wrong. Okay. Uh, back to the top. Now look, uh, take a moment. That was good, especially for being the first time through. Some people held their characters really, really well. Other people need a little more practice. And I think everyone can use some work on memorizing the words. We'll do this one more time when I come back next week on Thursday. After that, we will move on to Daybreak in Alabama and... <clears throat> Uh, Human Family by Maya Angelou. So, memorize those words, go over the words over and over and over until you don't have to think about it anymore. Then when you get on stage, you can put all your energy into staying in character and expressing yourself with large, bold movements. Okay, see you Thursday. Okay, when you are doing something like this, and in any production, sound is the most important. So if I ask you to make a sound, make that sound, please. If I ask you not to make a sound, don't make any sounds. All right. God bless me. God bless me. But the elephant. But the elephant is very like a wolf.